Hello community! Today I want to show you my preferred large language model and it is Flan T5. So what is Flan T5? As you can see here on November 23rd, 2022, Google released a new publication scaling instruction fine-tuned language models. And they also released here a Flan T5. And if you want to read the paper, I highly recommend it. They tell you all the details about it. But you know what? I just want to program it. I want to show you how to use this model. And maybe even have some thought about the upcoming GPT-4. So here we go. What we do? We have a runtime. We change the runtime to zero to leave everybody else who's doing research the GPU. So remember, we are running here on a CPU only. And just to show you this, that my CPU count is two. So we are really at the smallest CPU available. So what we do, we install our transformers. Yes, take some time, take some time. Transformers, yes, 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 from Hugging Face. So how do you start if you have a new language model? Well, easy. You go to Hugging Face and load the code for your inference. We do not want to train the model. We would need a high infrastructure for this. Now, uh, we don't have Hopper, NVIDIA, or anything at all. We just want to use it. So let's do this. Hugging Face, Transformers, Flan T5. Here we go. Beautiful. And you can see Hugging Face Flan T5 was released, but the paper just showed you. And you can directly use it. This is the code for inference. So we say copy. We go back. Yes, you know, this is already here. And we say thank you. And now, yeah, let's show you that it's really gone. Yes, I know. And then we have here our prompt saying um, explain artificial intelligence. That would be nice. Okay, let's do this. Execute this. We're running here, of course, as you see, with the smallest available flan model. So if you want to run, we are sitting on a bicycle and we are racing against a Ferrari, high performance tuned cars. So you have an idea how we can optimize this further. But let's go with the default. I want to show you the result. If you print then the result, tokenizer, what is the result? You see the model is rather minimum. We only have 300 megabyte model that we download. And artificial intelligence is a tool used to describe the behavior of a person. An interesting version. I think a very short version. Maybe we need some more meat on the bone. So you might want a longer output. So the question is, how can you optimize this? Here on a free call-up notebook. And there are a lot of things you can do. Let me show you. This are my personal set of parameters. I'm experimenting with this only for less than a week. So... Please, I share my knowledge with you. At first, I go for a model that has three gigabytes. This is the large model. This is the largest model I can load on a free Colab notebook. You remember, we have 12 gigabyte RAM, CPU RAM. I do not use a GPU. And there is an XL model from Flan T5, but this would be already 10 gigabyte to download and it crashes immediately on my memory. So, if you go with large, this is the largest model you can use on a free Colab notebook. Three gigabytes in about two minutes. Beautiful. We then have a look at the model configuration that we are downloading, but it is the same model you are used with the transformer. You have your model, sequence to sequence language model from some pre-trained model. You have an auto tokenizer from some pre-trained model. Remember with T5, you had a specific T5 tokenizer now they recommend to go with an auto tokenizer because not all uh, optimization are done yet. So beautiful, no problem at all. And then I use here some beam search I want to implement, which has a feature called no repeat engram size, which specifies that the largest engram that should not be repeated. Uh, default, we have three. I will set it to two. And as you can see here, my text is now the same. Explain artificial intelligence. And I will show you the difference, the significant difference. And even if you go, we just go here with large, if you have a personal PC and you have, I don't know, 64 gigabytes uh, CPU RAM, you can download XL and XL gives you even better results. But it, remember, this is 
three times as big as our large model. So beautiful. We are still downloading our Google Flan T5 large. Beautiful, beautiful. So I can show you some other parameters. I want a minimum length of 256. I want a maximum token length in my output sentence of 512. I want to increase the length penalty. I want a little bit longer output. So I go from one to two. Now, beam search, uh, classical beam search. I want to have a number of beams is set default to four. I want to go with 16, choose your whatever you like. And you have with the beams, uh, another feature where you can say no repeat engram size. I set it to two. It's a very strict one, but I don't want to have repeated sentences as an output if I go with 512 tokens. I want really a paragraph as an output. If you want multiple alternatives of the text, you set the number of return sequences from one to two or three, whatever you like. Early stopping is true. Yes, of course, and this would be it. So I finished downloading here my model. Yes, 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 it's coming. Another two megabytes, yes. Are we finished now? Come on. Yeah, done. So my model configuration, just to show you the Flan T5. Here we go. If you're interested, Google Flan T5 large architecture is, of course, the T5 architecture for conditional generation. And then you have all the beautiful things here, the number of heads 16, the number of layer 24, the maximum distance for the attention is 128. Number of buckets, word embeddings is false. Yes, yes, yes. The version you can use, beautiful. So what I do is now I execute my text, explain artificial intelligence. As you see, alternative that what is large language model GPT-3. And then I also had a short introduction to machine learning. I will show you the results in a second. But as you can see, since we are running here on a CPU with only two cores, it's gonna take us about four to five minutes. No problem at all. I'm back with you when the execution of this cell is finished. And here we are after three minutes and 40 seconds. Artificial intelligence is the development of computer programs that are able to perform tasks in a way that would not be possible with human intelligence. Well, I don't know about this. AI yeah, is based on the idea computers can learn to do things that humans can't do, and they can do it better than human things are doing the same things. Artificial intelligence is used in many areas of science, Robotics, computer vision, speech recognition, autonomous vehicles, robots, Internet of Things. We yeah, are also used to improve the quality of life by reducing the number of people that need to travel to work every day, as well as lowering the cost of living for the majority of the world's population, which is estimated to be around 1.3 billion people in the United States alone. No, I don't think so. According to the U.S. Center of Disease Control, CDC, no. AI has the potential to revolution on many aspects of life, combine how we shop, the types of food we eat, where we sleep, what kind of music we listen to, the books we read. To reduce amount, we are sitting in front of the computers like I do now, making it easier for us to spend time with our loved ones. Well, maybe with the next version, but it is not bad. Just to show you, I did it before, and you see it is the same text. Now, for GPT-3, is a large language model based on a grammatic structure of tetragrammatically invariant languages such so as English, French, German, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese. Yes, it's developed. University of California. Okay, I thought it was another company, but okay. Is to model the structure and semantic of large scale natural language processing system. Yeah, it's been used in linguistic research for more than 20 years used by linguists, computer scientists, researchers. Well, language model, yeah, but large language model has not have not been used for more than 20 years. So you see the mistake here. It just takes the language model, but the scientific term is large language model. So he splits it up into token and looks for language model, and then we get such a result. Okay, in computer science, teaching and learning and research development of computer-assisted learning, Cadillac, I have no idea, so it's a, it's a car, Computer Assistant Reasoning, Artificial Intelligence, and Computer Programming Languages. Not so bad, not so bad. Machine Learning, here's the text for you if you want to read it. So you get really significant text out of it. You have to be careful, but it is neutral. It is more or less to the point. Sometimes there are information in there. The estimated 1.3 billion people in the US alone 
this would be a surprise to me, <laughs> also to the United States, I suppose. So you see, but in general, I found it to be the most reliable, neutral, non-polarizing system you can ask here some text, some short, uh, few short learning example if you want. So give it a try yourself, you see. These are my optimization I apply. And with this simple line of codes, you can get amazing results if you compare this to the standard output that is provided. If you do not use the reasonable size of the system with a little bit of fine tuning your code. I say thank you. I hope you enjoyed it and I see you in my next video.